Hello Aries and welcome to Soul Sundays. Aries, it's a quick three card spread, one for mind, body and soul for your week ahead. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Aries. Please tell me what they need to know, not what they want to know for their week ahead. Can you please have three cards, one for mind, body and soul. Aries, woohoo, starting off with the Ten of Hearts or the Ten of Cups, combination, what is coming together for you? I feel like you're finally feeling like you're on top of the world a little bit and that doesn't surprise me. We have um, a full moon uh, in the sign of Taurus which is coming up on the 12th, so I'm feeling this for you guys on Sunday the 10th. Um, this full moon is um, quite a generous full moon. It's, it's one that's unlike the new moon that we just had recently in Scorpio. This one's going to pour really beautiful energy uh, into you for a new start. And for a lot of you, I've been talking a little bit about love for a little while, but I feel like love's coming in or it's matters of the heart are balancing out when it comes to romantic um, nature as well as um, um, f family and friends. Okay, Aries, we have three cards. I'm going to get stuck into it for you. Um, Ten of Hearts, as I said, have a look at this. Absolutely beautiful. In traditional tarot, this is the card of Ten of Cups. So it's kind of shown as um, um, uh, fulfillment. It's like, it's like feeling fulfilled, feeling like um, everything's finally balanced. I'm going to read it to you from the book because this card doesn't come up too much. Um, it's quite special. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, Ten of Hearts, or otherwise known as the Ten of Cups. Um, traditional meanings are home, happiness, pleasure, and peace. And it says, uh, the Ten of Hearts heralds a time of expansion, satisfaction, and great love. Your goals are beginning to take shape in your physical world. Take a breath, catch up with all you have created, and share this good fortune with your family and loved ones. That's what I was saying before. It's like everything feels like it's finally starting to come together. Pause to honour your accomplishments and you'll become even more solid within yourself. A newfound confidence brings ease and acceptance, which has begun to flow into your outside world. You have arrived at a new place. Old ways have fallen away. You are becoming the love that you are. How beautiful is that? You're becoming the love that you are. So your mindset's very much on... Um, understanding that you don't feel exposed or vulnerable anymore that's what the card's depicting it's like i don't feel exposed or vulnerable standing here in my truth in my nakedness i feel ready to accomplish everything that i am everything that i've been working for and it's amazing aries it's beautiful energy coming into this full moon um, as i said to you before it represents home happiness pleasure and peace and i feel like it's you becoming more solid within yourself feeling more grounded your health message is pretty straightforward this week avoid allergens so um, for those that are in the southern hemisphere, it's spring um, and for us in Oz there's been a lot of fires and bushfires going on so um, try and have your home place cleansed as much as you can. Um, you know, if you haven't washed your doona or your doona cover or your sheets, it's time to do that. And even for those that are in the northern hemisphere that have, um, you know, that are going through fall and autumn, whichever way, whatever way you want to call it. I think it's a good time just to clean, clean everything, get rid of some dust. Uh, it's also about not consuming foods that you know give you an allergic reaction. So I know some people, um, you know, have a minor allergic reaction to some dairy products, but they still eat them. This is the week to try and avoid those to let, allow your body to, um, to uh, detox. And, uh, you know, this is quite a really beautiful card that you pulled out for your soul message, the card of unity if I can hold it up to the bloody camera. Um, what I love about it is it's talking about feeling united in one. And it's a it's a mirror message of this. When I was shuffling and it came out, I wasn't sure if it was the right one. And then I looked at it and saw straight away. Again, I always look for the symbolism in the visual for me. So, you know, it circles the world, the sun, the moon, uh, the full moon coming up this week. But this card is, again, quite special. The energy around your Aries at the moment is beautiful. Um, where is it? Unity. <laughs> Okay, so it says, peace is not somewhere in the future, it is here. You don't need to search for it. Trust, let go, be present, and it will find you. The present is the point from which life flows. All is born, 
will die and be reborn into this one moment. All is present in the now. You are, we are, all is equal. Now it's a bit fluffy, right, that message, but essentially what it means is we're united in one. It's about you again seeing your worth and your value um, to other people and what they mean to you. Um, what it also means too is, and I, I want to bring this up particularly for some of you, is if it's love and a new relationship or something new that's coming up when it comes to that kind of space for you. Um, it's basically telling you that you have a refusal to accept anything that's less than equal when it comes to a romantic partnership, okay? And that's beautiful. It's like a um, very mature way of looking at love. Um, so strive for, um, for things to be equal, for, for things to be balanced, um, and you'll find that you, you, will, you will actually strike that balance this week, Aries. If there is someone new, if there is someone new coming in in terms of love for you, if there's someone floating around, you can feel that energy, then hold your ground, know your worth, because they will see it too. All right, Aries, that was your reading for this week. I hope you found it helpful. I'll be back with you next week. Take care.